have you ever tried making an envelope row pillow with perfect overlapping as this nice corners perfectly squared shape but instead of that you came up with something like this not nice at all so in today's video i'm going to teach you how to make envelope throw pillow with perfect overlapping hello friends welcome to my channel diys here my name is nefisa and in this channel we specialize in different types of throw pillows pillow covers cushion covers and a whole lot of other home improvement material so if you are in this niche you can start by subscribing to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell close to it so that you can get update of our new video envelope pro pillows are the best option of um, cushion cover especially if you have children at home because it is very easy to maintain you can easily remove the pillow inside and, and wash you it. also don't have to worry about a spoiled zipper from wear and tear during use but you also don't want to have a throw pillow that has the pillow sticking outside the cover because the overlapping was not properly done. Something like this. So let's get started. For a perfect overlapping, you need to have a correct measurement of all the three pieces you are going to use. And you need to decide if you want the overlapping to be at the middle or at the side of the pillow. This will in turn guide you on the size of the fabric you need to cut for all the three pieces. Measurement displayed on your screen so you can use it as appropriate depending on the size you want to make. For my project, I will be making a pillow of 16 by 16 inch. So the front piece is going to be 17 inch making room for half inch seam allowance. For the two back pieces, since I have decided that my overlapping is going to be at the middle, I will just divide my front piece into two. 16 by 2 is 8 plus 3.5, which is 11 and a half. My two back pieces are going to be 17 by 11 and a half inch. I make sure that the two ends that are going to be overlapping each other are hemmed properly and depending on the type of material you are using you can use pressing stone to iron the folds before taking it to the sewing machine i personally skip that process because my material is strong and steady enough for me to to actually stitch it like that without ironing now you need to make sure that the two back pieces are properly arranged together overlapping each other very well and you can use uh, office pins to keep them in place before you go to the sewing machine. Make sure to backstitch where the two pieces overlap each other. We have finished sewing all the sides as you can see. So the next thing is to trim the edges so that the shape of the pillow is going to pop out. Don't forget to trim the edges so that your square is going to come out very well. it our perfectly done easy to make envelope um, or overlapping throw pillow cover 
the next step is just to insert our pillow and we don't have to worry about uh, our zipper getting spoiled or the pillow getting dirty this is easily maintained and it's machine friendly pillow easily inserted into the cover with less trouble and no funny looking pillow sticking out of the cover elegant and nicely done overlapping and yeah simple and easy to make i hope you have learned one or two things from this video and if you do please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already or if you are new to this channel and please ring that bell next to it so that you can get notification of my new uploads anytime we upload a new video and i will see you in my next video thank you bye bye